Hi. Um, I usually make uh, videos that deal with Seattle and this in a roundabout way kind of deals with Seattle. But uh, um, I wanted to discuss uh, a movie that I saw for the very first time, as a matter of fact. Um, the, first, the other movie I'd seen, which I did a video about, was with Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan called Sleepless in Seattle. It came out in 1993. Then, for the very first time, I watched a movie called You've Got Mail. And it came out in 98. It shows you how dated the movie is because they were using AOL. You had dial-up and uh, you would do uh, your video or you do your uh, emails. You know, like if somebody was on AOL, you could chat with them. They wanted it to be like one big, huge family. It was sort of like Facebook before Facebook, sort of. But back to the movie, you've got mail. I think they wanted to capitalize on Tom Hanks and Meg Ryan's success from the first movie. Sleepless in Seattle was, you know, a decent little movie. Uh, now, to the movie, you've got mail. Meg Ryan plays a character that runs a little family bookstore. Jean Stapleton plays her mother who happened to be Edith Bunker on All in the Family. She plays Meg Ryan's mother, and they own this book, this little bookstore. Tom Hanks' character is the son of the gentleman that runs a major bookstore such as like Borders Books. It's like a huge discount bookstore that's moving into the neighborhood. And they spend so much time with Meg Ryan's character and Tom Hanks's character getting at each other's throats and Meg Ryan but uh, Meg Ryan getting put out of business by Tom Hanks's character which is uh, Fox Books but in the movie, they're writing each other, and they don't realize who each other is. All they know is that he's some guy and she's some girl. And they're writing back and forth and discuss, they're telling each other their dreams and hopes and daily problems and ups and downs. And, and that's cool and everything. They're really starting to fall for each other through AOL uh, chat line. Then, Tom Hanks realizes that the girl happens to be the same girl that owns the bookstore that he's going to be potentially putting out of business. There's a lot of tension in the movie. It carries itself pretty good that way. And she ends up getting to know him a little differently than just the guy that's putting her out of business. Uh, Greg Kinnear plays her uh, boyfriend in the movie. Uh, Tom Hanks has a girlfriend and he has a dog. And some stuff happens and before you know it, him and his girlfriend are split up. Uh, she and Greg Kinnear dump each other. Um, and the mother of... Um, Meg Ryan, Gene Stapleton's character, happened to be a love interest of the granddad, or Tom Hanks' grandfather, in the movie from a long way back, long, long time ago, when she was much younger. So it's all kind of connected that way, but the thing I have a problem with is that they take the movie, You've Got Mail, and they spend all of this time creating all this tension and all this hate and this anger. Um, toward each other. That. 
you get to the end of the movie, see there's a spot in the movie where um, she sets up a time to meet the guy on the other line. And at the end of the movie, they're, they're supposed to meet in this little park area by this little garden or some sort. And Tom Hanks' dog gets loose and he chases after the dog, calling the dog's name. And then they end the movie where they kiss and she's like, I kind of was hoping that the person I was going to meet would be you. Which made the rest of the movie not, it discredited her anger toward Tom Hanks' character for his business putting the love of her life out of business. And, and all of this, you know, and then here I am thinking, okay, um, there was no satisfaction whatsoever. It's like you, you take your favorite food, you cook it, you take the time to season it, you're cooking it, and everything's great, and then at the very end, you bite into what you've just created, and there's no satisfaction at all. There's no, oh, man, that's good, you know, kind of feeling. Whereas, um, yeah, see, I, I could have saw at the end of the movie, after they got together, I could have saw, they could have done like maybe a couple months later where he's, he's helping her try to reopen the bookstore and, you know, he's, uh, done away with his job at the Fox Books and and all that because him and her are an item now and he feels guilty because his dad's company put a little business out of business but nothing they kiss and then they hug and that's how the film trails out it just left you emotionally unsatisfied now a lot of people say you got mail was a great movie and they keep saying we got to do a sequel to You Got Mail. And a lot of people have said that You Got Mail was a sequel to Sleepless in Seattle, which it wasn't. Sleepless in Seattle actually was more satisfying than You Got Mail. She was great in the movie. Meg Ryan was great in the movie. All the characters were great in the movie. It just wasn't satisfying at all, so... I don't know how many people actually watched uh, You've Got Mail, but if you did, drop me a line at the bottom of the thing, uh, the bottom of the video in the comments. Let me know what you thought about that movie, You've Got Mail. Let me know if you've seen it recently, if you haven't. Um, look it up. Um, I, like I said, I found it to be very unsatisfying. I don't know why. I just, uh, I fell asleep on it a couple times as I'm watching it. And it just, the very end of the movie was just very blasé. And it wasn't even filling. It's one thing if it's blasé and you get full. As opposed to being blasé and you don't get full. You know, so like I said, leave a comment down below. Um, I'll try to respond to you. Uh, you don't have to make a big deal out of it. If you don't want to respond, that's fine. If you do, you do. If you don't, you don't. Um, I appreciate all the people that do respond to my videos. Um, I know they're not much to look at, and, and uh, I'm new at this, so you got to bear with me. My voice might be annoying. My look might be annoying, but hopefully... What I talk about is good enough to carry you over and to at least get a conversation started on some of the topics that I talk about. Um, so leave a comment below. Um, you don't have to subscribe. It would be cool if you did. But I don't make a lot of content right now and I'm kind of working on that. I'm going to figure out how to make better content in the near future. But right now I'm just kind of getting up and started and if if you happen to think some of the things I talk about is cool, uh, you know, that's fine. Leave, a, leave an idea, maybe, of something I could talk about. 
Um, I'm also debating on whether or not to um, just put up a photograph of myself and you just hear my voice or whether to keep the videos going because uh, as you can tell I have some dental woes that I'm working on. I got to get that taken care of really soon and once I get that taken care of it will all be hunky-dory in the land of Vulcan. So anyway, this is all things considered because I consider all things.